<sighs> and good morning from the van. Um, it's I should I should check this before I start filming, shouldn't I? It's the 16th of March 2022, and it's another little video. This is actually the third third little job we've done in a row on this estate this week. These are these are all the jobs we've done since we came back from Leamington Spa. Uh, we've got a big job coming up, but we're trying to get all the smaller jobs out of the way first. So um, I might just cut all that waffle out. But anyway, so good morning from the van from uh, Alex and Steve. Steve and Alex, however you want to say it. We're back at a job we did almost four years ago, just after we started the channel. And um, there's no problem with it. Let's have a look. Beautiful wall job we did. Oh, it's this uh, lovely wall job we did. Just at the back of it there. There's the pillar. But we're not here for brickwork, we're here for another little job. All good one as usual. <laughs> once, these, once these trestles go up, that's our access gone. Got our soil pipe in the way. But as you can see, all the brickwork's dropped. And during the bad weather the storms it let water in so the customer asked us to have a look sort the whole house near repointing said no standard issue lintel missing as you can see when the bed doesn't line up there's no way lintel can go through there so what we're going to do is usual thing take the brick and edge out another two courses up take those loose brick out as well up the triangle go back to the air brick go back to the pipe new lintel across one course up on top of that half there that's it and then we're going to put a new tray in new vents and brick it all back up and just repoint any cracks that are left so that's uh, that's today's job and this is the third job in a row that we've done on this estate isn't it Al? yeah we are we're going to call it lintels by lintels by steve and alex because that's all we seem to do lately do a lot of these they're either missing or rusted so uh, yeah we'll sign off for now and get uh, get all these things set up and uh, start making a hole in this wall Right, as you've probably seen on a bit of the time, that's all set up. All the gears here. You wouldn't believe the amount of stuff we need just to do a lintel. It's, it's just mad. So, while Alex has been getting all the gear in, I've uh, raked out all the loose loose brickwork, took it right back. So this is all going to get scraped off the, um, the, the mortar, because the customer repointed it with the finger a couple of years ago. <laughs> so, scraped the bricks off. So, um, I've only gone down to here because this this course is coming out now back to here and back to the air brick and as I say we're going to whip these out whip these out whip these out and then I spoke to the customer yesterday and the house isn't insulated so we won't be putting insulation in because there's no point <coughs> but yeah back on town that's where we get all this out first job get the uh, the drill in get us a hole in and then in with the reciprocating saw the um used to do it all with the drill and a grinder but that was so much messier i mean modern houses you would need that because of the mortar but this lime mortar comes out easily with the saw and then there's the saw blade bosch endurance brick carbide technology about 15 to 20 quid tool station screw fix we got out some berries but that's this that's the blade absolutely brilliant a lot of people keep asking about those so i'll keep mentioning it anyway so there you go it's back on time lapse and off we go right 
you were time lapse and then or you're supposed to be but somebody didn't press play so I'll switch you back around show you what we've done first acro's in we're cut out today with the recipe saw so they ain't coming out yet and then there you go that's what the cavity's like no insulation and this is all just built up on the tray from above so we'll cut out to here I'm going to take all the rest of this out now open it all up I'll cut them out with the ship saw again so that one just pops out and then these things will just come out we don't have to be careful with these because they're going and we're going to put a new, a new course of brick through the lintel up to the so yeah keep cracking on get this next acro in and uh, keep going I'll just stop the uh, time lapse just to show you this. There's the tray, which is in good nick. They usually are, but it's still coming out. And look at that. This is this is the snaps on the tray. You see where the back of the brick was? It's absolutely solid. No wonder it was leaking in because the water's getting in, it's just tracking through all this. There you go. So even the dirty trays nowadays are cleaner than the trays back then. Terrible. Anyway, let's carry on. There we go, break time. It's gonna be fun getting a cavity tray up there. I'm gonna have to get it in here somehow. Tuck it under that course. Um, yeah, this end's ready. Got our lintels here, then our upstand here. This only packing up when we do it. And then we've just gotta get this out and this, which is awkward to this here, but we'll manage. So it's two bits to come out and then we can start putting everything back. Weather forecast isn't good for today, but at the moment it's not looking too bad. So we're gonna go for a brew. Um, so yeah, see you in a minute. done we're out for the lintel upstand of the tray ready for the lintel to go in pack it up to here and then put a trim over that so this is coming out you will have seen all the crap that's come out of there uh, so that's that uh, that wasn't completely blocked the cavity that's just where the air vents in and you can seal the cavity around the vent so it's, it's, it's venting in the house and not the cavity, but anyway. Um, yeah. I'm just going to knock these tops off 
so we can get the tray under there, underneath that course. Can seal that in, get it nailed in. Just about get it in there. So um, yeah, that's it. Just a quick one. Been sent these by Roughneck, the Gorilla um, chisels. Got a point and the electrician's bolster, I think it is. And these handles, um, actually, you can actually remove the handles, which I think I'll probably end up doing. I'm not keen on the handles, but we'll give it a go as they are. So I'm going to use this small bolster to chip away these tops of these bricks here because they are quite soft. So yeah, let's get this prepped ready for the lintel and then uh, we'll get back to you in a bit. There we go, we're having the tidy up. We're on to the next stage now, which is inserting our angle iron, which will give us 150 seat in each side. And then we've got three cores of brick to go back in. You'll see um, there's no insulation in the cavity, so there's no point in us insulating this little, little tiny bit. Um, I might just do behind the lintel. And then if they do ever get it injected, that bit's um, that bit will be insulated, otherwise the tray going over, the insulation won't go, they won't get, be able to blow it in there. So I'll just insulate behind, under the cavity tray. And uh, we've chipped out under here. So they can tuck the cavity tray under there and get a seal over it, which my glamorous assistant has just delivered. So I'm going to get that cut, get that put in with a couple of cut nails to hold it in place and then uh, put a bead of silicon across it, just to hold it in. So yeah, let's crack on with that. Yeah, this is going to be normal speed just to show how bloody awkward this bit is. So as he does this now, I'm mm. going to get the uh, mix finished up and ready. I just need to give it a few more turns so I can get him his bucket. And then we can get that lens all set on. And then we can get his line up and start the brickwork. So I'll flash you back up to him while I get that sorted. What we use little puzzle load twist nails. What are they about 25 30 mil? These you find loads of them just lying around on the floor, especially on site. So I never walk past 
past them, past them. Always pick them up, put them in the bag. Always coming very handy for this kind of stuff. So as you can see, as I point out in my tuck pointer, there's a lip under there. So I'm going to run along that with the silicon now, put a nice big piece of silicon to seal that back to there, stop it moving. It's nailed in as well. So that's a um, nice, nice brand new cavity trail, nice and sealed. So there won't be any more leaks here. Um, this plasterboard on the top is actually disintegrated because it's been damp so eventually the customer are going to need to just re-plaster the top of this jar so I'll let them know about that but for now I'm going to get this siliconed up and then get this lint in There you go, nailed in, sealed in. It's not pretty, but it's not going anywhere. That's a full tube of silicon gone in there. Don't need any of that yet, so I've got to go get the bricks. You don't yet? No, I'm just going to get set up and then you tidy up while I'm gone. Okay. That's what I mean, you probably just quit just dropping this, tidy up. I'm not dropping it and putting it back up. Okay. You've got nowhere to put it in the meantime. You can put this way out of the way, it's back in the time. Right, um, I'm just going to hop up, I'm going to get this little set up now. See, it's all there. Yeah. You can always get your set up and all that. I can't do it till I get the bricks. You've got bricks to start with, that's what I mean. Yeah, I want to put the good bricks on the bottom. Plus I've got to get the trim as well. I've got to go get stuff, so I might as well just get it all at once. Right, I need bits of brick to put in here. Just to sit the link on. Do you have all that stuff up there though? Pointing trial, um, yep. top pointer, Everything. line. Yep. a little bit more for movement and what you should do really is measure the from there to there so your link will parallel sometimes your link doesn't run straight mm -hmm. so that you've got to make that gap up so we need a 50 mil strip a 50 
50mm strip. And to do a bit of wood really to put near so the strip to sit to attach to. Mm. I'm going to grab some of that wire up then too. Yeah. There you go, lintel set, bedded on. No point levelling it because that's what it is what it is. You can't level the lintel because you've got to follow the beds. So we just need to pack it up, put some timber in to give the uh, something for the strip to attach to, then we'll drop the cover straight down, set it all up, cut it back, and then it's ready to, ready to get built. Um, yeah, so maybe you've heard that for a bit.
And as Deb will show you, we're finally finished. I'll let him, uh, I'll let him show you the limbs of progress, but uh, I'll show you my task. So, acros are out, obviously. We've got to get them in the van once the trestles are taken down. Gonna give that a quick clean, get rid of that mortar, put it in that bag, give all that a quick clean, get the tools cleaned. I'm doing all the tidying up and all the cleaning up while he gets the trim put in, but I'll take you over to him so he can show you the lintel. There we have it, job complete, just as the rain started to come down. Yeah, jobs are good in. You can just see the odd new brick dotted in, four new bricks. Got rid of the brick on edge, lifted the lintel up to the nearest course. Upstand, vent, 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 upstand. So the tray goes right across, right up here. And it's, um, should be no more trouble with any water getting in there now. What I'm going to do is get this trim on, get it sealed up. I'm going to put a bit of seal around this, just in case the water is getting in around this pipe. We'll get a bit of silicon around that as well. Uh, oh yeah, that's it. We're going to get tidied up and get out of here. I'm going to get a bit wet doing it, but job and knock, so not so bad. And it's um, oh, 10 to 3. Here we go. So, um, yeah, we'll stick you on town, that's where I get tidied up, and um, we'll see you in a bit. So there's Alex just clearing the last of the few bits away. It is 10 to 4. Not bad. It slowed us down a bit because it started raining. Alex had just been cleaning up the threshold as best he could. The car was a bit mucky because it wasn't covered, but it's rained since we got here. But anyway, here we go. The finished article. Uh, as we said, three courses out, new tray, uh, one, two, three, four, five new vents, new lintel, new trim, because we've raised the brickwork up, 
they made the gap bigger so there's timber in the gap and we've stuck the trim to that sealed all the way around and just gone back into the old seal so it's all sealed up now uh, yeah that's it I've just remembered now I'm going to seal around the, the um, soil pipe so I've gone, I'll just do that now before we go but that's it that's what's finished another lintel done that's um, four lintels we've done this week so um, yeah the lintel videos seem to do well because a lot of people have dodgy lintels so um, if you enjoyed this video make sure you like comment subscribe and hit the all on the bell button to get notifications every time we upload a video but as we always say Monday 8, Monday 8 30 that's our um, that's our time and we throw the odd video out as well so yeah, we'll leave it there so we'll see you on the next one thanks for watching